Hi, welcome once again to Air Engine Research. The last couple of days, I've been working on all the valve heads. I did some testing with different pressures, and I found that the, the valves and the seats that I had been using with the uh, faucet washers was not holding up under a little bit higher pressures. If I got up around 300 PSI, uh, one of them pushed the, uh, the valve stem actually through the, through the seat. So I couldn't have that. So I took these all back off, took them apart. Uh, I made some modifications on it where I'm using a tapered 5 16 bolt and I machined it down to be a valve stem and I countersunk the seat inside the valve to match the tapered valve head and once I did that then I got things pretty well sealed up where they, where they don't seem to leak and I don't have to worry about the higher pressures. After I got these all put back in, I decided I wanted to do some testing on the, how it might run and how much pressure I'm going to be getting on the actual cylinder to the valve and to the crankshaft. So I did some of that and to my surprise, I had it hooked up to just one cylinder, number four. So I had the air pressure set on 100 PSI and just one cylinder running. And when I, when I moved the thing to get the number one cylinder, the number four up to the top up here, I wanted to see when the actual valve started to open. But to my surprise, it actually started running when I turned over on one cylinder, which I didn't think it would do that. So in further testing, then I decided, well, I wanted to see what would happen if I hooked up the saving number one and number three. And once again, as soon as I got the valve set, got number one up to the top, just turned it over to where it would start, they started running again. So after I worked on that for a while, then I wanted to see again with running just one cylinder, how many pounds it would pick up total. So I ended up getting enough metal together to make 50 pounds. And then I set my air pressure on 75 PSI and I'll show you then what happened with how much it would pick up. Okay, it's on 75 PSI. Now I've got the air open. And if I move it to where it take, takes off. Seventy five PSI picks up fifty pounds. But seventy five PSI 
on one cylinder would pick up 50 pounds and still be able to pick up more if I would have added pour to it. But I was rather happy with that, that it's got pretty good. And for the most part, I, I couldn't detect any, any leaks anywhere. So that's also a good sign. But I'm afraid uh, my balance is going to be a problem. I thought maybe it would. And it does shake around quite a bit. I don't know how I can fix that, but I'll, I'll just have to work on it. Also, these dividers that I put in there, uh, I don't know if they're the ones that are making so much noise or if I have a problem with the rings actually making the noise, but I'm going to go ahead and take it apart again, take these divider plates out and see what happens. That's something I'll be working on over the next day or so, but I did want to make this video just to kind of let you know where I'm at and I'm still working on it and there's still problems to be solved. But thanks for checking in again and any new subscribers, if you're interested in what I'm doing and would like to see more, please subscribe and check up on the little notification bell and you'll be notified whenever a new video comes out. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and go back to work.